from Metal Gods TV and I am with a couple of guys from White Wizard, you are? I am Wyatt, I'm vocals. Uh, Chad Ryan, rhythm guitar. And are you promoting your album at the moment? Uh, yes, Over the Top. Um, just came out about a month ago here. I believe it came out actually a few days ago in the States. Yeah, three days ago, February 9th. You've not long since got off stage and it's quite packed in there. Oh yes, it was. And we were actually, I was, I was actually surprised at the response that we got. Um, I was not expecting that size of a crowd. I was, you know, I mean, given the size of the room and and the people running in and out, I was actually expecting a little bit less whenever we first started playing. But um, once the lights went up and, and I got to see you know, all the people that were out there, I was rather shocked. Yeah, we still get shocked. We're a neophyte band, you know. We we haven't been around that long, so oh, it's that big word. <laughs> God. So, you know, when we do, when we come to the shows, it's like we're always expecting, like, nobody's going to, we're expecting the Spinal Tap moment, you know, like Puppet Show and White Wizard. So, you know, to see people get into the record, you know, to see people singing along, it, you know, it's really exciting for us. I mean, it's always exciting, but for us, I think it's a little bit more because we're building a fan base and, and every show is, we're playing it, not to fans, but to make fans. And we're not and expecting that many people as far as that goes yeah. to be fans yeah. off the bat, and they already were. Yeah, so it's really cool, you know. I mean, we came here really excited to do it, and it was it exceeded our expectations, so it was a lot of fun. And what do you think to this setup for a festival? This is great. I love, like, the family resort. It's like they turned a family resort into Metal Village, <laughs> which is great. We're in the snooker room. Doing How crazy is that? And, uh, yeah, it's awesome. We didn't know because we pulled in, and we're like, are we in the right place? And, but it's really... <laughs> It's really, it's really cool. Yeah. I mean, you've got no. At least you've got somewhere to have a shower and you've got toilets. It's really yeah, toilet. It's beautiful. Yeah. And it's good, it's good for the fans too because you know metal fans like to party. You know they like to have a couple beers, maybe a couple dozen beers, whatever, and like get into the music. So it's cool. So they can get the room and crash. And all that. Well, not only that, it's yeah. also it's also indoors, so it's out of the weather. They don't have to worry about any kind of climate as far as outside goes. They can come in, enjoy whatever band that they wanted to come in. And see and not have to worry. And yes, and not have to worry about you know freezing their ass off or or sweating to death or whatever. However, it, you know the weather is getting rained out. They don't have to worry about it. It's that's great. I think that's a great idea. What I like about it is the low key security where the, the bands can actually mix with the crowd and nobody yes. gives a damn. You know, it's not sort of oh no, you can't get near those guys. You've got to go. You know, you just meet your fans basically. And that's that's cool. Cool. That's I, I, we're not like that. <laughs> we we want to meet. People. We are, we're, you know, I mean, we're fans first and foremost to yeah. begin with. So I mean, this is just, uh, I guess you would call it a byproduct of being a fan, actually starting a band and rising to the people that we actually go to see. And then, like you just said, you know, we, I don't, I don't want to be segregated from the people that come to see me. I, I want to be right up there in the front with those except, people. Except for ex, some ex girlfriends. <laughs> you don't want to. Well, as long as they're not hurling bottles. As long as, you know, I mean, if they paid to get in, then who cares? <laughs> as long as they don't call you on Father's Day. Why well, remember me, asshole? Get that done anyway. <laughs> you cunt. <laughs> and uh, we've toured quite a, a, a lot of Britain. Which place do you like best in Britain? We haven't really visited that much. <laughs> I know. We, we, we did the Ear Eight Christmas party in London, which was a blast. Uh, and then we did this, and this is uh, this is kind of kicking off a, a short tour we're doing with that guy. Um, we're visiting some places, we're doing Nottingham, Leeds, Glasgow. And, uh, Glasgow is our the first show on tour. So, you know, someone was talking about that earlier, like doing Europe and where do you like the best? And you know, we're a new band. We haven't, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, we haven't, um, we haven't exactly toured Europe. We're excited to. So, hope to have an answer to that question someday. Very. Yeah. So, uh, is there any particular place you're actually looking forward to going to? A country that you're looking forward to going to? Well, we're supposed to be playing Germany next month, and I'm really looking forward to going to Germany. Uh, also, I mean, um, our popularity is starting to rise in Japan as well, and I really would like to go to Japan. So, to me, that would be, you know, or, or Greece. Greece would accept our, our music really well. I mean, it's just, just like here. And um, so those are actually probably the you know, other being able to visit where I'm at now.
Uh, those are probably be the three countries I would like to go to. Yeah, so I, like to, I like to play Australia. I like to be down under. So it's always a great place to be down under. <laughs> We're getting to the Gupta level now. <laughs> it didn't take that long. What does the stopwatch say? And which are, which are, would you cite as your biggest influences band-wise? I mean, you, you've got the TFT shirt, you've got Megadeth t shirt on. I mean, are these sort of bands that you listen to? We toured with those. We, we actually awesome. toured with Tear. That's that. You know, um, Tear, Corpaclani, and Swashbuckle was our last tour. So, and we actually, um, I had not personally listened to the either, any of those bands until we got on the road with them and, and actually grew to respect them quite a bit. But um, as far as influences go, my, my main influence is, is, well, for singing is basically the, uh, to me, the three main important, you know, the uh, Maiden, Maiden uh, Priest, and Dio. I don't know about you, but I hate Maiden, Priest, and Dio. They suck like that. Cut. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, obviously those are like brick and mortar foundations for everything metal. Um, you know, you got to go back to all those bands. There's a lot of Scorpions, a lot of Thin Lizzy. Um, you know, just any bands that are like songwriting strong and, and look heavy. Um, we're into and you know stuff like that. Even even like '80s pop. Well, I was actually pretty surprised with the uh, the Cloven Hook whenever I first heard it. As far as you know, delving a little bit deeper into the uh, new album sound. That that actually shocked me that it it was expanded as much as it was to um, be you know be rather rather broad compared to Tank and, and Angel Witch. And it got into a little bit more than just you know oh well these guys are are these old bands that nobody's ever heard of and you know to be able to play that style it, it's it's rather. Uh, Rather exhilarating to be able to play something like that, and realize that it's it's kind of relevant now, just as much now as it was then. Yeah, seem, I seem to find that people are, are sort of turning towards the older style metal now. I don't, I don't know whether got, the eardrums are getting a bit battered with the old screamo stuff. I don't know. Well, I mean that 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 kind of music has been has been done. It's been rehashed. You know, everybody tries to be heavier than, than than the last band, and oh, we can be heavier, or we can scream louder. And I think people are kind of getting tired of everyone trying to be more heavy because there's there's only a certain you can only down tune a guitar so much you can only scream or growl so much before it gets old and heavy metal has always had a way of you know cycling itself and I, I just think that this is another part of that cycle yeah there's a lot of great bands that do that uh, you know, there's a handful of like the cream of the crop, and, and they're really awesome. But there, there's a, there's a lot. There's just so much of that in metal, and I think it's it's just it's not that like you know the more traditional movement is better or it's taking over. It's just that it's kind of leveling things out. Like it's it's good that there's actually bands that are doing that because for the longest time there wasn't. And I think everybody likes that. It's such a winning formula, even if it is trite or whatever people might say it, it is. Uh, people want to hear that stuff, and you can only you can only play your main record so much, you can only play your space record so much, you want to hear some new stuff. And um, that's why I think it's great that fans are doing that. Not to knock the, you know, the heavy or growly stuff, which is cool. You know, we all you know, love those death metal bands, that, all the, the good bands that came out of that movement, and some of the great ones that are doing it now. But it's just great that there's an alternative to that now, the, the traditional kind of mind of metal. It's good to have it, because you know, people dig it. And uh, uh, finally, have you got one thing you'd like to say to the people out there? About White Wizard, of course. <laughs> Make sure you hang around because there's plenty of magic to go around. I did that. <laughs> Always wipe, stay off the pipe, and if the sucker gets ill, tell him I'm chewing. <laughs> It was thanks a lot. Awesome.